but not a big chance. Martha? Thank you very much, Jimmy. Choosing the right dog for your family should be based on more than just price and size. What about the dog's personality, health issues, exercise requirements? Over the next few months, we're going to be exploring a number of different breeds that you might not have thought of or even know about. Joining us is our dog behavioral therapist and trainer, Gerard Rainieri. Welcome. Thank you very much. Who have you brought? I love these dogs. These are American soft-coated Wheaton Terriers. Okay. And they are really, you know, obviously, you could tell by the name, their coat is extremely soft, as you can tell. And this is baby and daddy, right? That's right, exactly. This is the sire right here, and his name is Morgan, and that is Moak. Okay, now tell us about their personality. Well, Most I mean, people wouldn't think of a Wheaton Terrier as a pet. Well, that's well. I'll tell you something. These guys, four, 200 years ago, were on farms working, you know, working cattle, mm -hmm. uh, or you know, been any number of jobs on the farm they did. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're they're wonderful pets right now, and honestly, they're one of the most sounds, one of the most, one of the soundest dogs out there right now. But without any issues, I mean, health wise, they're great. They're a wonderful pet. Do they make good family dogs? Absolutely. I mean, in the word, absolutely. They're great with kids. They love playing with kids. They're very loyal. I mean, you know, like I said, for you know, when you look at getting a dog, one of the things you want to consider is the cost and what kind of maintenance with them. I mean, their coat, you'll have some maintenance with them. What, mm -hmm. buddy? Come on. Do they have to be brushed every day? Uh, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but they're because of their health, lack of health issues, you're, you know, the vet bills are going to be down because they just don't have a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. What about exercise? Because a lot of people don't have time to walk their dogs. Are these dogs that require exercise? They do, not to the extent of a lot of other breeds, like a Rottweiler or something like that. Those are going to need a lot more exercise. If you have a fenced yard, you walk these guys twice a day, they're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. What about training? Are th would these dogs be easy to house, break, to train, to com on command and so forth? They're extremely smart. The, the thing about, the, I've worked with many of these dogs. Um, the, the, the owner of these dogs is Tammy, and she has, she's a breeder here in town, and she has seven of them that I've worked with. Mm -hmm. and, and every one of them, the, the, the approach if you take with them is a soft, you know, understanding approach with them. They do much better. They're, you just have to be patient. Any type of handy, heavy handedness with most dogs that mm -hmm. goes to, to be, but especially if I just raise my voice, they respond very well. Mm -hmm. So they're really, really trained well. How they, big will dog. they grow to be and how much will they weigh? Well, he's almost at his full, he's, he's probably one of the bigger um, sizes right now. He's 35 pounds, Morgan. 45 would be max. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, I, the average weight for these guys is about what he is right now at full, at full, at full size. And this is their normal coloring? It is, yeah, that wheat, wheat and color that mm -hmm. they talk about. And their eyes are like reddish, have a reddish tint to it, reddish brown. They're really, really good looking dogs. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm in love with this little critter I mean, here. look at that face. He's just- they're, they're, he, he is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Right, and, and really, they <laughs> train, have been training very, I mean, all seven of them are doing great. They're smart. Um, you know, when I first went to the house, they were all running through the doorway at the same time, and with the owners did a lot of work with them, and within a week or two, they were all in sync. Thank you, Gerard. Thank Love you. Love them. They're great dogs. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Appreciate it. All righty. A little puppy in Georgia went a long way to earn his name. This is Lucky, and thanks to some Albany, Georgia firefighters, he has a lot to bark about. Lucky managed to fall into a drainage ditch, a seven-foot drop for this little guy. Took some climbing, but firefighters were able to get him out safely and now this little lab has some new best friends who are trying to find him a new home.